Hey! What's up? So, I could finally talk normal now, but my mouth is not gonna move as much because I know if I move it too much, I'm gonna start bleeding more. I got my wisdom teeth taken out yesterday. Don't have too much swelling, but I know that if I work out and exert too much energy, bleeding will occur. It's not a good idea. So, I am going to walk. I plan on walking as much as I can. Hopefully at least three miles, maybe four and I will get back to working out pretty much the day when I wake up and there's no blood in my mouth. That's when I'll work out because I got to practice my patience. As much as I want to go for a run right now, I'm not going to. I will give you some tips on how I am improving my life when it comes to working out. I got this tip from my friend Rupert. Thank you, Rupert. He told me that when you're getting back into working out, you should give yourself ridiculously easy goals. And I'm talking about running a mile once or twice a week. That sounds pretty doable, correct? A lot of people might think, hey, that's not gonna do anything for me. I need to lose weight now. And those people are obviously not looking in the long run. I walked for two months without working out just to make sure my body's gonna be okay when I actually do work out. And it was a really good plan for me. But going back to the goals. So when you set goals that are realistic and you know you'll do them, you'll do exactly that. You will do it and you will reach your goal. When you reach your goal, you'll feel accomplished. And who doesn't like feeling accomplished? After feeling accomplished, you will feel that, hey, I could do this. I could do what I said I'll do. And eventually you're gonna start doing more. So that one run a week will turn into two runs, three runs, maybe even four runs a week. Keep it at a mile or less because if you do a little more than you should be doing, you're not gonna accomplish your goal. You're gonna go back to, I suck. You don't wanna suck. You wanna be good. You wanna be cool. You wanna be the best person that you can be. And by setting goals that are this big and achieving them, that's how you start doing it. So set goals that are really easy. Obviously don't be like, I'm gonna walk 10 steps tomorrow. I could do it. Set a goal that has some challenge to it, but you know you could do it and go on from there. Day 10, I can't run tomorrow unless I'm not bleeding anymore, but I will give you more tips on what I'm doing. So thanks for watching. I will see you and you know what's gonna happen. Eh.